going to show them a world without you. A world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. Hello, Mr. Steelhammer. This is an international call from Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. We're just calling to inform you about temporal thunder. Yo, yo, it's Big Papa Steel. We're in there like swimwear, ladies and gentlemen. We are talking about charge partitioning. Charge partitioning? Nobody can do that except for the Japanese. Yeah, I know, but I've been watching the Japanese and I picked a couple things up. Let's talk about the basics of charge partitioning, the concepts, how to learn the partition timing, which is consistent, how to do some tackle partitions, how to do some headbutt partitions, and then we'll wrap it up with some goofy gimmicky shit. But this is not the first time we've talked about partitions. This is episode 5. If you've gone through them, there are partitions everywhere. The Kuroda combo in the corner is a partition. This really dope little tackle, fireball, tackle, headbutt combo is a partition. Standard mid-screen Shoto unblockable is going to require a partition, and the dash roundhouse tackle unblockable requires a partition. So if you've learned up to this point, you can probably uh, do tackle, 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 headbutt, right? No, me neither. But partitions have been covered. But today we're going to talk about partitions in the mid-screen. How you're going to do a dash EX headbutt out of nowhere. That's a raw, no rubber dash EX headbutt. That's not traditionally how it works in a match. As we'll learn, there are setups that you can use to make sure that your dashes turn into charge moves with more reliability. Charge partitioning is hard, but it's a lot harder if you don't use setups. There's a Chinese Yurian named Xiao Wen Chen who has a video I will post in the description below that shows the invisible charge meters. On the top left corner, if you use a certain script on your computer, you can see there's an invisible charge meter. He's a charge character. If you hold down, it turns green and you can do a charge move. But what's cool about Third Strike is you can split that charge and as long as it gets to 100%, the charge move will come out. So as you see, as Yurian is ducking, holding down back, both the headbutt and tackle meter are growing. As long as that red turns green at some point, it sticks and then you can do the charge move. The problem is, this meter is invisible and you're going to fill it naturally by blocking, so you have to reset it in order to effectively charge partition. Super flash is the easiest, it resets tackle and headbutt, parry resets tackle and headbutt, pressing up resets the tackle charge, and overcharging headbutt is a specific technique used after throws to get dash headbutts. The partition timing is consistent, once you learn it you can do all partitions. I find the easiest way to learn this timing is off of throw setups, as you can see here after the throw, I do a dash, stand, medium, punch, light kick tackle. So it's throw, you press back. Once his ass hits the ground, stand medium punch, light kick tackle. Press up if you want to do a tackle so you reset the charge meter. Hold back 1 2 once his ass hits the ground. Dash, hold back for a split second, stand medium punch, light kick tackle. The tackle charge should come out once you get the timing. Stand medium punch, light kick tackle. You split the partition in two. Press up during the throw animation to reset the charge meter. Hold back 1 2 once his ass hits the ground. Stand medium punch after the dash. Hold back for a split second beforehand and you'll get the tackle. RX's guide showed a very interesting technique known as overcharging the headbutt to get consistent EX headbutts after throws. As you can see here, I hold down through the entirety of the throw animation to completely overcharge the headbutt. Then once his ass hits the ground, I do another partitioned headbutt. And because I've overclocked the charge meter, I know exactly where it is because it's reset. So during the throw animation, you hold down entirely to complete a charge. Then once his ass hits the ground, you tap down, dash, tap down, up an EX headbutt for the dash headbutt off the throw. It's a very powerful mix-up. You can do crouch short into jab headbutt. Hold down through the entirety of the animation. Once his ass hits the ground, let go of down and then continue the charge partition. Down for one, two, dash down for one, up and punch for the EX headbutt. To my knowledge, overcharging the headbutt is only useful after throw to get consistent, reliable dash headbutts. It would be impossible for me to show you every single charge partition with my hand. So what I wanna do is give you the timing so you can implement that timing across the board in various situations. The way I think of it is one, two, dash one so one two is the timing in my head i go down one two then i dash and i go down one up and punch but it's all over the place so here it's going to be like one two in the air dash one 
so the timing for me is split mostly on the front end of the charge and then wrapped up after the dash or the jump just the last maybe 20 percent these are various tackle partitions rx is known for this one right here the charge is done in the air similar here if you want to whiff the jump roundhouse you do the charging in the air so like after a throw you can do a back dash so it's like one two dash one forward and kick that opens up some pretty cool setups and combos these things take time to learn but once you get them you get them this stuff is not just like a combo that you look and see the buttons and you get it. It's, it's about finding that timing in your bones. Videos are not going to show you as much as training mode and feeling it. But the basic idea is you want to fill that bar up almost to the end, dash, finish the bar, and then complete it. But you want to do it in opportunities where you know where that bar is. It's invisible. So like after Aegis Reflector, it's clean. You know where it is. It's at zero. After Parry, it's clean. You know where it is. Those are the moments your partitions will be most consistent and reliable. Tackle partitions are very strong and they're a great way for you to get a tackle into Aegis to win rounds, but in my opinion, headbutt partitions are where Urian really thrives. On Hugo, Alex, and Urian, you can reset after a jab headbutt with a crouch jab and it opens up this really good drill you can run in training mode to get the timing for a headbutt partition off of a landed headbutt. So after the headbutt, you do a crouch jab and then you hold down for a split second. Dash, finish the headbutt. Crouch, jab, hold down, dash, look at my hands. Go in slow-mo, watch it 20 times until you get that timing. And then that's the timing after any landed headbutt to do another headbutt. This is a powerful technique that allows for headbutts out of nowhere, which are great game ending scenarios. If you're able to land an EX headbutt on a majority of the cast, you're able to end the game. After a tackle, tackle, headbutt, you can try to cheese people out with an empty jump, stand, medium punch, EX headbutt. There are opportunities everywhere for you to do substantial damage off of crouch, short, jab, headbutt, off of empty jump, jump EX headbutt, off of dash EX headbutt, and you can steal games you have no reason to win ever. Against a certain caliber of player, these techniques can be lifesavers. If you want to land an EX headbutt out of nowhere in the mid-screen, it's valuable sometimes to hide your charge throughout the duration of a normal move's animation. If you hold down while hitting stand medium punch, jump, and then hold down again for a split second, you're able to do an empty jump EX headbutt. The same concept works with crouch medium kick. Against tall characters like Hugo and Q, EX headbutt can be an absolute game changer, and if you're just holding down and then doing EX headbutt, you're not likely to land it if, you, if you're not hiding it. you got to hide this stuff. Two normal moves in a dash, if you hold down throughout the normal moves, you're likely to get an EX headbutt. This timing is going to come, but you have to lab it. You've got to spend your time, you got to spend your hours. Go to training mode, fuck around, look at these clips and try to emulate it. Off of normal moves, if like uh, sweep lands, you can dash EX headbutt. Pretty much holding down during any heavy normal move will give you the perfect amount of charge for a dash and just finish the headbutt with the last 10%, 20% of the charge. So like a chop, dash, EX headbutt. These are not like reliable ways to win games. These are ways that you pull out of your ass when you have no chance to win through traditional means. Off the start of the round, you can do a dash EX headbutt, you can do a dash whatever you want. You can do a back dash tackle. Start right when fight is in the middle. So it's like fight, right in the middle of fight. That's usually where I start. It's going to take some experimentation to try to find exactly where it feels right for you. Xiao Wen Chen shows this in his Yuri tutorial video, which is in the description below. It's a gimmick. It works once in a while. Don't rely on it or anything. You're playing Urian, dude. You can do whatever you want. If you want to charge partition, you got to remember. A parry, I have a clean slate. I know what I can do. Just do the partition. If you get an A, just do a partition because that's where you know exactly where you are. Do that super sick RKF style for triple four medium punch EX headbutt. Anytime you see like a headbutt, you can do a tackle there. Anytime you see a tackle, you can do a headbutt there. These are just examples. Be creative. Like, that could have been a tackle. That could have been a stand medium punch tackle. That could have been a crouch short light punch headbutt. You can do wacky shit. Cruz, one of my favorite American Urians, is probably the best charge partitioner in the United States. He does crazy shit like this. He just, like, turns mid-screen unblockables out of, out of nowhere. And, of course, you can do dumb shit, too. Look at that. Be a dumb dumb. Play Urian.
just me. Two hours on Fight Cade later. That's it, boys. We left Mongolia. Now we gotta leave Wisconsin, am I right? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Congrats, guys. If you've learned one thing from this, uh, I guess it was a success. I was hoping you would learn maybe three things, but... I have a secret Yuri in Discord. If you want to be a member of it, show me some cool shit on Twitter and I'll bring you on board. And if you ain't a member already, it's because you ass, okay? You suck. Got some new ideas for videos coming out. I'm going to do like an analysis series on different corner Aegis setups, sort of like why Urians choose to use different strength Aegises in the corner. I'm going to also continue with the five minute murder series. And if you have any questions or concerns about any combos, any tech, any specific setups, hit me up on Twitter at DrSteelHammer3S. Appreciate you guys sticking around and leaving Mongolia with me. It's been a joy and I've learned a shitload just trying to break this shit down for myself. So hit me up. Have a good one. Peace.